So we've brought in the second plan. We can turn off uh, each plan by um, controlling the little light bulb. We don't need to do any sketches on page 1. So we'll turn page 1 off, turn page 2 on. And I see that the sketch from the line in the previous uh, step was still there, so I can delete that. Just press delete on your keyboard, and it's done. The sketch here, we can delete that. That was part of that line that I just had there. And that's fine, that gets rid of sketches. So we're going to now uh, start by um, taking a copy of these ribs. But first I notice that um, these, the uh, laser is um, 500 by 300 in dimension for its cut. So I'm going to create a piece of balsa wood um, at 500 by 300. I'll press top view. I press rectangle up here by the way, or R for rectangle. One hundred, sorry, five hundred. One hundred. So this should represent a five hundred by one hundred piece of balsa. If we double click the outline, we can move that by pressing M for move. Let's bring it over here a little bit. Press enter. This one here we'll call this sheet one. I did that by double clicking on the name of the sketch which allowed me to rename it. I'm going to press spline at the top here in my toolbar. My first point will be here in the corner. Select the middle point, select the end point, press enter, and that closes it off. I can press the toolbar up the top here, spline again to start the tool, or I can right, uh, right click and pull up. This will just repeat the last command. So I'll start in the top corner, somewhere in the middle, and near the end little green tick bar just uh, in, uh, completes the, the process of that spline. So if I zoom in by pressing, uh, scrolling through my mouse wheel, I can see that the line is, I think, centre enough of this, um, of the rib itself, whereas this one down the bottom here is slightly off, so I'm going to click the end, grab one of these um, green grab handles and I'm going to just move it a little bit and you can see that's that's uh, made a little bit better I'll grab I'll grab this one too if I bring it in close it up it means it's going to close up the uh, close up that arc press enter and press escape that just closes it off I'm going to press I'm going to uh, enter a line so up in the toolbar the line Go from end to end, escape. If you remember the shortcut for um, the last command was right click, pull up. Line from here to here. Press L on my keyboard for line again. Or use my toolbar at the top there. Or right click, hold up. It'll do my last command. I prefer to use my keyboard line from here to here. Press escape, it'll close it off. Now I need these to be parallel, so I'm going to left click, hold my shift, left click, right click. This gives me a, a list of options. I'm going to make those two parallel. We'll go spline from here, somewhere through the middle and out to the end. Press escape or press this little uh, this little tick, tick box here. I'll make another spline because it continues the spline with a new one so I'm going to 
click on that white, white uh, grab point somewhere in the center of, um, of this, this line out to the end and we're done so we have uh, the curves at the top of the rib, the bottom of the rib I think that's, that's close enough I'm just going to close it off on the end trailing edge by going from um, simply dot dot I pressed L for line to give me that line we can tell that's all closed off because I can now click into each one and it highlights so what we need to do now is um, L for line sorry L for line I want to make sure I'm going to be on this line here click to that line start at the top here that line to that line done press escape and that closes off the command now I want to do a dimension on this point from this one to this one do that again from this one to that one that's going to be 6 mil because we have spars that run through there it's going to be 6 mil by 5 mil and I saw that on the plan so that's how I knew so I'm going to use the trim command because we don't need these uh, this this joiner through the middle so I'm going to go trim again if you can't find it go to sketch trim I'm going to remove that one and remove that one press escape that'll close off that last command that's your drawing done now of that balsa rib we need 14 of those so we can copy and paste those 